My legs hurt. Are we ready? Never skip leg day? Never skip leg day. <laughs> I'm going to turn you up. <laughs> no. Did you hear yourself? No. Okay, good. I tried. I'm going to turn you up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn you up. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Park Stop Podcast, Tell episode Jen. 61. <laughs> my name is Alicia Stella. With me, as always, is my co-host, Ian. Hey, kids. Yay. And today... <laughs> Yay! But today we are catching up on some Universal Orlando news and Halloween Horror Nights speculation. I can't believe we're doing Halloween Horror Nights speculation already. We're already like three months into the year. I so know. I know. It's just they're building it. If I they know. build it, we will talk. <laughs> <laughs> Even if they don't, we're still going to talk. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's early enough. Look, <laughs> Horror Night Nightmares put out version 1.0. Clearly, it's time to talk about it. Yeah, of course. It's this is the way. <laughs> um, Wrong company. Oh, sorry. <laughs> are they making a movie out of that? Yes, yes, Did they I, are. I, I thought that was like a dream or something. Filoni is taking over Star Wars, I believe. So oh. we're making a movie out of that. Oh, um, we haven't done a podcast here since DreamWorks Land was officially announced. So I figure we should talk about it at least briefly. Okay. <laughs> are you excited <laughs> no <laughs> i mean it'll be cool to see shrek's hut it'll be cool to walk by a troller coaster if they're playing troller coaster of love troller uh, coaster yeah i'm telling you they gotta have that song uh i don't know it's fine it'll be cool just to see a new area like the kids own needed to be redone forever so that's cool i'm happy about that the the play area the shrek swamp play area looks really good Oh yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Like the the climbing nets and the and the and the stuff and the outhouse that's a slide and there's Pinocchio <laughs> in the center. Like that's some good stuff. So yeah. I'm glad that we got like a new play area and that like frog lily pad thing with the have you seen that? Those uh, the bio reconstruct photo of the frogs? I don't think I saw the frogs. King saw Harold's the Swamp Symphony. I saw <laughs> is what it's I called. I saw the spider on the troller coaster. Yes. Which is awesome. Which is kind of funny because like there was a spider on a wire for the five old like water slide. Mm -hmm. So big spider lives. <laughs> uh, Mama Luna feline fiesta. Mm -hmm. That That's real. <laughs> that's ridiculous, but awesome. Um, no, I'm excited for the swamp snacks. <laughs> I know because, you are. Of course you are. Because it'll have foods like a Shrexel. Of and course. And far, far a waffle. And oh, no. frozen ogre. And more. Oh, no. What is a frozen ogre? I have no idea. Key lime? Uh, when I did the video, I think some people in the comments thought I said ogre. Frozen <laughs> ogre. And I was like, no, that's too good. That's, that's too real good. good. <laughs> that's too is, good. Is the pretzel going to be green? Um, maybe it'll have green salt on it. Oh, that's kind of a letdown. Far, far a waffle. Then again, he has like a brown vest, right? I I'm don't thinking know. way too hard about pretzels now. See yeah. what you got me doing? The Kung Fu Panda Land lo like area looks nice. <laughs> looks it looks nice. I it's got like those it's got those little they call it merry go rounds, giving everyone hope that it's a ride, but it's not. It's the self spinning like you you spin them yourself. Little they used to have hamburger shaped ones at McDonald's in the eighties. Remember how dangerous they were? I remember the hamburger that was like a jail too for some reason. Yeah, what was with the hamburger <laughs> hamburger hamburglar jail? I guess I don't I don't. We're old enough for like the hamburger shaped uh, merry-go-round thing to come back into style. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But these are these are these are uh, noodle bowl shapes. Well, you know what? At least the kids will get tired. They'll run themselves ragged. It'd be great. Yes, and there's an interactive gong in the center of the area. That is important because as that's opposed fun. to a non-interactive decorative gong. <laughs> I wonder how long that's going to last. <laughs> Um, every two every every two milliseconds, somebody's going to be swinging at that thing. We're burying the lead, though. They kept the bucket dump. Which is cool. I'm fine with that. Like, those are a dying breed. We got to keep them alive. They're endangered. I'm like I said, I, I, I don't I don't care too much as far as like enjoying the land. But I think it'd be nice to see a new a new thing in the space, like new new things to do and see for the kids and families. I, yeah. I will probably visit Shrek and just to look around. What about Poe Live? You know, like the Turtle Talk with Crush type thing. We, Did you know that Universal uh, Beijing already has this? That's not fair. It's it, They've always had it. And I just it's didn't notice. 
It's not fair. It's not right. There's there's an interactive uh, 2D screen of Poe talking in real time animation at I Beijing. Be, I bet it'll be fun though. I mean, Turtle Talk is fun, but I don't I don't stop to watch that show. But I oh do my watch god, the Turtle TikToks. Talk is always funny. Well, yeah, yeah the TikToks there. You TikToks go. are much easier. Um, in preparation for this area, I started watching Gabby's Dollhouse. Oh, great. How's that going for you? I watched five episodes of Gabby's Dollhouse. I will not be doing that homework. I'm like turning Haley to the screen. She's like like five weeks old. And I'm like, look, Gabby's Dollhouse is on. Meow, 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 meow. Like she can't see it, but uh, I still watched it. (laughs) Yeah, but you have her as an excuse now. I, I I have a kid. We have to watch it. Right, right. Look, I, I'm not, I'm in love with the show now. That's all. I'm of course say. you are. Of course you are. She shrinks down and goes into the dollhouse, I, and then I know. everything is a cat, and everything like has the word like it's like the 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 what's the movie where they all say meow and as a cat. Oh my god! Of course you love this the, show. The troopers, the super troopers. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. All right. Anyway. um, Yeah. So DreamWorks Land. I can't wait Uh, to hear about all the kids shows you're going to be watching soon. I already watched them all. (laughs) (laughs) I've had Disney Channel on every day. And people are like, why do you have the Disney Channel on now? I'm like, are you practicing? It's like, no, nothing has changed in my life. (laughs) This is what it is. (sighs) Anyway. Uh Yeah, this opens this summer. DreamWorks Land. It'd be awesome. It'd be cool for families and kids. It's, It's a vast improvement. For sure. In that kids know what these things are. <laughs> kids are aware of these properties. Wait, yeah. we're done. Right. I mean, there was a Kung Fu Panda movie that just came out a couple weeks ago. I don't know. It, like, it, it seems to be doing well financially. So I guess it's still an active I will, franchise. We'll watch it. So just I'm not paying for a theater for that. And, you know, like they have something for the older kids and by older kids, I mean us, because the the parade is, you know, heavily rumored to have classic properties this summer. So Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the counter like programming, like here's your little kid stuff. And then also here's your big kid stuff. Jaws. (laughs) For half a second, I thought you were going to say Shrek was going to have beer, too, for the adults. No, I mean, there might be no way there wasn't no, beer there before. I doubt no, there'd be beer there, there now. No, no, yeah, there's an ice cream stand from uh, Trolls. That'll work. I just watched the the new Trolls movie. I want, On I purpose? saw that in theaters. <laughs> I saw, oh, of course, theaters. you did. That's right, you did. I remember pink lemonade flavored, populicious pink ice cream, and huckleberry flavored Brozone Berry. Brozone. Brozone is the boy band that he was in. I know. I just think it's fun that they named it Brozone. Also, is Huckleberry a real like flavor? <laughs> is that a uh, thing? Uh, it's a hound, right? Dang, I'm old. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> and a barbara. So old. So old. Oh, speaking of the parade and Ghostbusters possibly being in it, did you see today that someone tweeted out the Ghostbusters theme music, like the actual background music, is playing at the Universal Store at the airport? I did not, but that is awesome. Uh, Jeremy Herbert, D Day Films, on t- the form, the form, the website formerly known as Twitter, um, yeah, posted a little clip, and it's the background score from the original Ghostbusters movie. Well, it's I just have- playing, and, like that has to be a sign that that they had got the the like, they they they're licensing the rights to Ghostbusters, right? Right? They have to be. Well, if they already have the music, right? Then they have to be. I mean, they can license the music and not actually the the characters. Like, or they could have both. Why are you going to be a Debbie Downer already? Oh, sorry. We didn't even get to the map yet. Oh, yeah. Well, you didn't even get to the map yet to so, crush the rest of my dreams. Anyway, uh, so yeah, speaking of Ghostbusters, we'll get there. There will be some dreams crushed when we get to that section. Oh, I speaking know. of dreams crushed, uh, Skull Island Reign of Kong is still without 3D glasses. Listen, that is not okay. Universal, that is not okay. I have you done you it? That. Have yes. you done it? With, I think in 2D? I don't know if I did. How do you not know? Because <laughs> I know? go on that pretty often, actually. I just don't remember. I think I, I think you would remember it sucking more. <laughs> well, no, it's it's horrible. I mean, I really, to be fair, to be I fair, really, oh yeah, exactly. I really only care about the animatronic at the end. That's why I like the ride, right? So I don't really pay attention, and I've taken my glasses off in the ride sometimes too because I know it. So I just look around. You're just there to see the animatronic <laughs> at the end, <laughs> pretty much. <sighs> Yeah. um, Apparently get water thrown at me. We are outside of the two-week test, using air quotes. They were doing a test to see 
essentially it's it's not a test to see like if they can get away without 3D. It's a test to see if anyone notices. Like, are people complaining? Are people going to guest services? This supposedly they've had survey takers out there at the exit sometimes, and they still do sometimes. So if you see a survey taker and you don't like that they took away the 3D glasses, be sure to tell them. If you do like that they took away the 3D glasses, don't, don't talk anything. to them. Just walk by. <laughs> I'm glad we have the same idea. <laughs> just ignore because, them. Because rides that were designed for 3D probably should either stick with 3D or be redesigned if you're going to take it away. And they have not redesigned it. They just f- flipped a switch and now it's in 2D. And the seams are more visible. At least that's what I'm told. I will give it a ride tomorrow and I will report back. Um, I think it should also do the outside loop again. Oh, they will. Uh, 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 I know uh, it's coming, but it's been a long time. It has been a long time. I think they're going to make some adjustments in that outside scene, which has been closed since April of last year, I think. Which is Going insane. on a year. Maybe, yeah, I think maybe it was May. I don't know. We're almost on a year. Um, supposedly sometime this year they will fix that and bring it back. It's awesome. It's such a good entry entrance. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's so weird too when they the last time I did ride it with the 3D glasses without the outside part when it does a little bypass, the voiceover for the 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 driver um driver move that vehicle. The driver like no. go, goes immediately from don't be putting on those goggles yet and then immediately go now's a good time to put those goggles on <laughs> because it skips the whole outside scene. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. Bring back my 3D Kong ride. That is the only thing they changed. They removed any mention of the goggles in the voiceovers. So lame. (sighs) I know you're listening, Universal. Sorry. No, 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 no. It's it is lame. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, What else did I write down? I don't know. When I made these notes, I was excited. Still, I was uh, buzzing about the Starfall Racers train at Epic Universe. Mm hmm. Uh, I think it's very pretty. It's very pretty. And it's been moving around a track, I hear. Yeah, like lots of people are outside the gates getting footage of the uh, Starfall testing. And it is it is hauling butt. It is going mm. fast. It's going it to be is, a fun ride. It is going to be a lot of airtime on this ride. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good ride. I mean, they're only testing it on one track so far. It'll be really interesting to see it testing both tracks at the same time. Dual. I want to see it. Um, oh, and, and I didn't even realize until I was making that video last week that they have confirmed there will be music on this ride. Oh yeah. It's like written on the official website. It says like, uh, with like lighting package and music. And I'm like, Oh, it's right there. It's John like, Williams. Okay. <laughs> Don't jump ahead to my notes. Sorry. I think <laughs> so, we talked about this before though. I think John Williams name came up before in this part. In the first it's because part. that's my hope. I'm not even going to say guess. That's my hope. And two people left a comment. Cause I, m- I mentioned that like some, someone is scoring all of celestial park. And I hope that they're the same person who would be scoring. Cause there's someone scoring all the lands or at least rearranging the existing themes for the like Harry Potter and dragons. Mm-hmm. Um, Danny Elfman rumored heavily kind of, kind of gave it away himself on social media or an interview dark universe which is awesome. Two people said, well, I hope it's John Williams for Celestial Park. And I'm like, I do too. I've like been afraid to say it to jinx it, but like, let's say it on the podcast. Then it makes it real. That makes it real. (laughs) I'm I'm also voting for John Williams. That looks like a perfect area for him to ever, if there was ever a land for him to do music for. He won an award for the original score for um, Galaxy's Edge. And the original score for Galaxy's Edge only plays when you walk through the tunnel. <laughs> so That's insane. Like a 30 second loop and he won an award. That's how good he is. <laughs> yeah, he's amazing. Isn't he like retired, though? Uh, I don't I think he unretired. He said he's he's just going to keep uh, working until forever. That's and good. That I'm hopes, OK with that. He like gave an interview recently and said he hopes he's remembered for some of his work. And I'm like, that, uh, duh. <laughs> you think you're just a genius. It's fine. He should be remembered for the Olympics theme. He should I don't be know if people f- realize he did the Olympics theme. He should just be remembered for like one of the best composers, period. Dude's what is the Olympics amazing. theme? Is it like... I can't remember because I keep going I into the... Uh, Superman. <laughs> no, I go into... Uh, isn't it... Dun, dun, no, I'm going into like the Beatles or something now. No, I go into I, I know Superman. It, but how, how does Superman go? <laughs> he did Superman too. I mean, he, <laughs> he did, did all Superman. four Superman. Sorry. All of them. <laughs> Anyway, so that's a hope. I noticed today before we started recording, uh, someone 
hosted, was it Coaster Studios, the Dragon Coaster testing? Last week, Donkey Kong coaster footage was posted by, I think Ethan Hershaft posted Starfall Racers testing yesterday and Donkey Kong testing last week. Uh, he's been posting a lot on social media and his channel. What is his channel? Let's give a little shout out for his channel here. Is it? The Orlando Tourist. Uh, 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 there it is. Uh, that's he, it, right? He should be remembered for that. John Sorry. Williams did that score. I couldn't I, stop thinking oh, about it. I'm I sorry. Think I could be misremembering. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt your shout out. I just, I couldn't get out that of my head. That was very important. I know. It, it really it was. was. It was I know that sounded, that sounded sarcastic, but I totally <laughs> meant it. Uh, the Orlando Taurus has some videos, uh, Donkey Kong testing and. Thank you. Oh, he posted the Dark Universe coaster testing. Um, oh, Wesh posted the Dark Universe, the Wolfman coaster testing a few days ago. Everyone was flying over helicopters all week last week. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, and Bio Reconstruct did like three flights in two weeks. That's what I'm talking about, Bio. And we saw all those vines on the manor in Dark Universe. Oh, it looks so good. It's not even done and it looks awesome. I mean, like the village is starting to get the scaffolding come down. Do you notice I, like how want, dark everything looks? It is I, a dark universe over it is, there. I want to see the Romani stuff. It's not only is it a village, it's a dark more village. It's more dark than I expected. <laughs> it's, more it's more dark than I expected. <laughs> we don't need it to be black and white. It's just black. <laughs> it's completely, it's going to be invisible at night. Dark more is more dark. Got it. It'll be like black and white. The white is the fog. <laughs> Everything else is painted black. I mean, you're not wrong. Like, seriously, when you enter, all the towers and, and bricks and stuff and like the, the crumblingness, mm. it really gives off the first Frankenstein movie vibes. It's awesome. It looks so good. I really just can't wait to see the Romani stuff added to it, too. Uh, well, we have that one wagon in the wrap wrapper still across yeah, the street. Yeah, wrapper. <laughs> oh, speaking of across the street, you see the street sign for um, Constellation. What I was did. it Constellation Way or something? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. So somebody posted that. I'm gonna pull up my uh, uh-huh. cheat sheet for streets. Cheat sh- sh- sheet. Cheat sheet. Street cheats. Cheat street. Cheat streets. Cheat. <laughs> yeah, Constellation <laughs> Way, which We're is so great. Smart. Constellation Way is a little roundabout that uh-huh. goes to um, a future development area um a future expansion across from the parking lot Mm -hmm. and but on the other side it goes to someone else's property for like a a future shopping center or something interesting so it's interesting to see like universal working with the county and they get to name this road that will eventually someday go somewhere else (laughs) that's awesome that's really cool yeah so we got like epic boulevard we have stella nova way going to my hotel (laughs) Uh, the other one says TBD. I'm going to guess it's going to be Terra Luna way. Probably. <laughs> we'll go on a limb here. Anyway. If Stella Nova goes, dis- goes disappearing or something, just mind your business, okay? Okay. I'm not going to take the street sign. <laughs> I'm just going to like visit it often and say hello. <laughs> go visit sure my hotel. Uh, I mean, it's got your name on it, so you know. Yeah. I haven't even booked a stay there yet. Speaking of booking a stay, mm-hmm. I think... Like we are coming up on like the time to start selling. Like they're already for for reservations. You can already get Stella Nova and Terra Luna, but no one knows when Epic Universe is going to open. And they took away the summer. They just say opening twenty twenty five. Can you tell the Mountain Dew is kicking in? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so uh-huh. I have a theory that previews will start in May twenty twenty five. Okay. I'm okay with that. That's assuming the park is done and built. (laughs) I mean, it's going pretty fast, so. And I would not book a stay based on that because Mm. previews is not for everyone. Previews means you probably have to have like a reservation as either a team member for the first previews or annual pass holder for the next previews or VIP or something. Mm. But it's like I if that is true, though, and we get previews as soon as May, hopefully that means we're opening still in summer. Um, there's a lot of rumors going around that it's not opening to the fall. And I don't, don't want to like, hear that. I don't, I don't like those that. rumors. I don't want to hear that. As far as I know, like it can't open until like January at the earliest and it won't because it won't be ready yeah, because the roads not. won't be ready until January. Yeah, that would be silly. I, 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 I'm hoping they get the team member previews before, and then this could be the pass holder previews in May. And then we open in June on schedule, but you never the know. Schedule? It's universal. You never know. Well, they're not going to tell us anything until it's built anyway, so it's fine. 
Well, they got to start selling tickets like, what is it now? March, April, yeah, May, June, Just July. Just because it's not open doesn't mean it's not built. They got to start selling tickets in like five months, maybe Hopefully. four. Because Hopefully. you want to buy, you want to sell tickets a year out from people. Like the people need to plan their vacations. Mm-hmm. Well, if they sell tickets, then well, we're going to know when they're going to open too. It's going to be exactly. great. Exactly. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Oh my God, BioReconstruct just posted breaking news. Oh the no. The roller coaster it's testing at DreamWorks Land. Yay. And the face of it is absolutely terrifying. Oh no, that's not <laughs> just, good. Just absolutely horrific. And I it's like got little you, feet. I love it. I like how you turn into a sportscaster all of a sudden. <laughs> It's absolutely terrifying. We are getting word on the newscaster. <laughs> we are getting word in from our uh, affiliate caster. in the air. The troller oh. coaster is testing and it is scary. It is kind of scary. <laughs> you seeing it? What the heck? That's awesome. I love I like, it. I love how like terrifying a, it is. It's like a horror coaster. <laughs> That thing is freaky looking. The new Trolls movie, the bad guys are like, I, I don't think I can watch the movie again. I Whatever, like they're plastic. They're, the plastic toys that they are, are That's terrifying. Freak you out a little bit? They are, yeah. They're they're like Uncanny Valley scary. They have like dead adult doll eyes. <laughs> I mean, this thing has like honeycomb eyes. This, <laughs> this is amazing. I want a toy that looks like this. I immediately <sighs> want this troller coaster ride vehicle. Of course you do. This is going to be the thumbnail for this podcast. <laughs> this is amazing. Well, it fits with Dark Universe, too. So, you know. Oh, this is darker than Dark Universe. Somehow the colorful thing is scarier than the Dark Universe. <laughs> that will haunt oh, my dreams. This is giving Magdal a run for our money. <laughs> Hold on. Let me quote that tweet that. Magdal did not work last time we went through. Her head did not lift up. And it was even scarier. Why is Magdal so terrifying, and why do they allow that to continue? Like, we'll I, fix all this other stuff, but Magdal, you stay scary. It's very important that I tweet this immediately. <laughs> <laughs> interrupt this podcast for Alicia to make Magdal jokes. Why am I? Why am I horrible? <laughs> why? Why am I this uh, way? I, <laughs> and it has likes. All right. All right. All yep, right. I, I just joined in just because I could. Okay, let's get to the main discussion. What's that? Uh, not done? Oh. No. Oh. Halloween Horror Nights. I don't know what year it is. Uh, 2024 Orlando <laughs> Speculation Map version 1.0. Of probably what, like seven? No, like five. I think it's uh, usually like five. Now to find this, you can go to HorrorNightNightmares.com or, and click on any of their socials. Or just look for HN Nightmares on Twitter or other websites. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm looking. All right. And we're just talking about Orlando because we're selfish. We are <laughs> just very like we selfish. did on the premium podcast on Patreon. It's like, we're, <laughs> this is a tribute to all theme parks, but mostly Universe Orlando. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There's some good stuff potentially on here. Uh, because it's early in the season, the uh-huh. spec season, uh, there are icons, there are not words. Although yep. I like the one the one that has words is just unknown original, <laughs> unknown yeah. IP. Yep, that was perfect. At least we know what those are not. <laughs> mm, <they're laughs> we know what they're not. We don't know what they are at all. Oh, it's 33. Okay. Yeah, it's HHN 33. 33. I don't yeah. know. It's got a big 33 on it. I'm just saying. Well, I didn't have the image. You know what? It's been a long day. I know. It's been a day. There's been so much pollen. You have no idea. I bagged up five bags of pollen. Oh, my gosh. This will be the last time I can talk for a week. It's, 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 I can feel it taking over. Oh, no. Okay. There's one that's really bothering me. I like. There's three. I don't know what they are. Four. I don't know what they are. Okay. <laughs> but what, what's with Central and South America over here? <sighs> Um, did someone get lost like in the Dino Land retheme? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> is it another? Is it another Chupacabra? That's what that was my first thought. I don't know what else it would be. Uh, is it a uh, creature from the Black Lagoon? Is that where he's from? I think yeah, you think he's from Amazon. Oh, so there you go. We can go I mean, with that. It could be, and I don't see anything on here that's monsters related necessarily yet, and they haven't done him yet, have they? Well, what's the one in Soundstage 22? Play along at home, by the way, folks, and pull up the spec map, because all we have is little icons here. And um, it says Soundstage 22. There's a see the film reel? That mm-hmm. means it's based on a movie. Oh, I see. Yeah. I, what? I figured that out. 
you that's genius so like what's it's got fangs it does so it's i'm thinking demeter maybe or maybe some dracula movie but demeter was the last one that came out last voyage of the demeter no one remembers that yeah but it was so good if you didn't watch that movie you should watch that movie it was a good time and i think walking through that ship would be kind of creepy you know i don't know if the spec map counts it but universal does count uh the universal monsters as an ip so the little film icon being an ip could mm-hmm. denote that that is a like dracula house yeah, it's, I'm thinking it's some sort of. It's got to be based on something. Abigail, which is a new movie coming. No, 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 no. Demeter, um, or Universal Dracula. Monsters, Dracula House. I, I know, I know what you're saying, but I'm saying not it's based on be. a movie, just based on the 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 Dracula. I, I understand. I'm just saying there's op, there's many options or movies that are out or recently out for them too. Not just I don't think monsters. we're getting a creature from the Black yeah, Lagoon House. I don't think so either. I just want to put that out there. No, I wish, but I don't think so either. They I'm gonna, hate us. Of course they do, unless he shows up in there randomly. Um, they do mix the monsters. Okay, I know you're probably happy that Soundstage 24A in this art does appear to be the Tribute Case Store files. comic book icon. Case files. Why is it two different? Is it black and white? Is that the point? Oh my God, it's black it and white. It might be a black and white. I'm sitting here mm-hmm. thinking, it's like, why is this skull two-faced? It's a little skull that was on the cover of the Tribute Store uh, the last comic Halloween book. tribute store, it was a comic book store. Mm-hmm. And one of the rooms was in black and white. Mm-hmm. Well, weren't all the rooms in, well, were the, well, oh yeah, yeah. There was just the one room. You're right. It was the Boris room. Yep. Of course. Cause Boris is in the past and he's noir. So it's a black and white case files. House. So could this be a case files house in mm-hmm. black and white? Or at least have black and white sections. I mean, that's a black and white logo. Let's go case files too. Let's go. The next one has the 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 swirly can, uh, candy um, lollipop from that scare zone. I was gonna say it's a scare zone from last year, right? It's got yeah, be sweet revenge. That wasn't last year. That was the year before. The year before, yeah. Oh, last, last year that area was Vamp sixty nine. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Wow, time is weird. I'm not yeah. a fan. Um, <laughs> okay, the one I want to talk about is um, what is that? A Cadillac logo? Yes, yes, it is. Um, and I love the sleuthing online where everyone's like, not only is that a Cadillac logo, this is a Cadillac logo they only used for like three years. It's so ridiculous. Uh, and during that three year period, the like ambulance Cadillac they used for the Ecto-1 in Ghostbusters, the original movie, used that logo. It's even on the hood of the Ecto-1. So clearly, because it's got a little film reel, mm-hmm. that's the Ghostbusters house. For sure. Kudos to everybody that thought it was Christine, though, because the Buicks did have the arrow kind of like that, too. I mean, now I want a Christine house. I mean, I'm not mad at either one, but I kind of want a Ghostbuster house. Um, anyone who's seen my Ghostbusters rumor video a few weeks back, you know, where Ghostbusters might be in the Lagoon show, it's definitely in the parade. It might get some kind of new attraction coming back. They license the property. I mentioned in there that there might be a Ghostbusters Halloween Horror Nights house. Yes, please. But I said it would be based on the new movies. But it might be based on the old movies. I think it's based on the new movies. I'm okay with that, though. I didn't hate the last one. I saw someone report. I don't remember who I apologize, but someone reported that they are hearing that this year's Ghostbusters house will be based on the original Ghostbusters 1 and 2, which is weird because we already had a full number one house. Mm -hmm. So if anything, I'd give us a Ghostbusters 2 house like Vigo. All yeah, Vigo. I was say, he is Vigo. A river of slime, you know, the the new Ghostbuster like slime packs. Like this a it's a good opportunity for a completely different house. Um, I'm not hearing that though. I, I heard when I did that video all the way uh all the way back in the before times of a month ago that it would be <laughs> and I, I don't I don't hate the new movie. No, I don't hate it either. I mean, it's not ever going to be the same as the old ones, but it was still pretty good. It's weird. It's like living. This is what it's like to get old. (laughs) (laughs) Because now media feels like the fake movies from 30 Rock. Like it feels like a fake trailer turned into a whole movie. Nothing feels real anymore. (laughs) Yeah. I'm in a make-believe world where like movies are half based on old. It's a soft reboot. Anyway. I'm 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 assuming it's based the the house will be based on both of the new movies because the new the second one is coming out this week. I think so. I do want to see that one. Okay, there is a good likelihood they're going to announce this house the day I post this podcast. No, that'd be great. Uh, Alicia from the future, can you chime in here and tell me if they've announced this house by the time I'm posting this? No. 
I don't hear her. I think she no. said. I think she said <laughs> it was not announced, but it will be the hour after this goes up. <laughs> That's what I heard. All right, all right, all right. What, what do you think the 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 sprung tent original thing is? What is that with the bowl and the spears? Oh, do you think that relates to anything? Oh, mm-hmm. I've been too caught up on the movie IP things. I don't like originals to me are just always like a surprise. Like, ooh, neat. And I'm not really good with the lore. Mm-hmm. I don't have any guesses on that one yet. I'm sure someone does, but I don't have any guesses on that one yet. Yeah, I don't know. What about the other movie that we didn't talk about? Oh, uh, there's, there's two, two more. Mm-hmm. There's two more. Well, one is A Quiet Place. Let's just get that out of the way. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I think that that was a rumor going around. I mean, that's that's how these spec maps are made. They're based on rumors that people are talking about on the forums and on discords now and on social media. Mm-hmm. So anything here is based on just what we're already talking about. We were already talking about Ghostbusters. We were already talking about A Quiet Place right before this got put out. And I believe it. I think A Quiet Place would be an interesting house to do. It would be cool. I, I thought I heard about that last year almost, like toward the end of the last year's. HHN. Everyone, everyone's saying like you got to use like noise canceling technology or something, and I'm like, no, just put a like um, subwoofer playing a a, a, a brown note. <laughs> a subwoofer playing a brown brown no, note. No, you know what, what brown notes are for? Yeah, yeah this is a joke. <laughs> like like a low tone, just like an ambient boom, and that'll become like silence. Yeah, oh yeah, that'll be loud enough because you can't. You have to drown out all the sound. You gotta be careful of with reality. That too. Like what pitch they do, it'll mess with people's hearts. Oh, that's a, well, that's why I made the joke about brown note. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta really, you gotta pick that note properly. Yeah, yeah, solid frequency choices. Yeah, you gotta pick the right note uh, so that we don't get any cardiac arrests or poop for pants. <laughs> um, I think that's a good likelihood that that's happening. Oh, man, yeah, that would be awesome though. Um, you know what isn't? What is the other one with the stars and? Moon. You got me on that one. I have new. I thought maybe you would know. Well, I, I think people were saying Nightmare on Elm Street. I mean, I guess because it's this, nighttime. Get it? I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Actually, we probably should have researched this, but I don't want to play off other people's guesses. I wanted to talk about what we think or have heard. <sighs> I've been so I have been trying to figure it out by staring at it, and I did see the Nightmare on Elm Street thing, but I don't know. Because that seems like a really weird hint for Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. I'm not sold on that. I I assume the last IP. Oh, there's also unknown IP. So there's two. But usually every year there's like a returning IP that they keep hammering home over and over again. Mm -hmm. And we've already got like seven Michael Myers houses at this point. (laughs) So I wonder, like Nightmare on Elm Street is something. Did it get its own house or was it just Freddy versus Jason? I only remember Freddy versus Jason, but that yeah, doesn't mean it didn't get its own house. That's the only one I remember. I think it would, I think it would have been excited. So I think it could be one of those properties that something that we might have had before, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre or something, um, as the unknown IP or as the suns and the the, the moon and stars, like something like that. I, I just keep seeing the the. It feels like the the stars are specific. To me. Oh my god, the flag why. of Texas has stars on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has a star on it. I don't think it has a moon on it. It doesn't. Crescent moon. It's yeah, croissant it feels... moon sandwich shop from Islands of Adventure. <laughs> I figured it out. It feels it feels like it feels specific. Hold on, like hold on, hold on. This this is uh this is worth stopping for. Hold on. The stars at night are big <laughs> and bright. <laughs> Deep in the heart of Texas. Texas. There we go. You know what? I've I've, I've talked myself into it. Somehow yeah, that ties peeing? into it. Somehow that ties. I don't even like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I mean, if you go by nighttime, it could be Gremlins too. <gasps> Gremlins two or Gre- like the new. No, batch? I mean Gremlins <laughs> also. <laughs> we didn't even get Gremlins one yet. G- Gremlins also. You know what? I think the Fast and Furious unknown IP is Gremlins. No, Five Nights at Freddy's. No, probably. Here's the thing. Wait a minute. They even teased that they were going to do something with Universal. I think behind the scenes, the the rumor is that they worked on it and that the rumor is they gave up or they're not doing it or they pulled out or something. But I feel like that's exactly the narrative they gave us last year with Stranger Things. Wait, was last year Stranger Things? Yes. The Vecna, the Vecna house. 
I, everyone who talks about speculation last year gave up on Stranger Things. I was told over and over again in the forums, give up on it. Stranger Things isn't happening. They pulled out, blah, blah, blah. Netflix wanted too much money. There was all these narratives. And I'm like, I think that's a red herring. I think they're literally putting out false information to try to trick us. So I'm holding out hope for Five Nights at Freddy's because it worked last year with Stranger Things and I'm not going to give up. No, I kind of want it to happen though, so... That'd At least really, it's a scare zone. It could be a really fun, like Killer Clowns type uh, style scare zone. Be really creepy. Wait, is Killer Clowns rumored? I heard that too. I haven't heard that. I heard that before this map came out. Mm, there's a movie called Dawn of the Crescent Moon. I'm, I'm I'm skipping over to Hollywood to see what they got. They have the Ghostbusters logo. They have a Quiet Place. They have the stars and uh, moon icon, and the the vampire one too. Hmm. Are they getting a psycho house? They have a bloody knife. I want a psycho uh, house. Psycho or Jason? J- is it a knife or machete? Knife. Kitchen knife. Mm, definitely psycho. Also, both of us have a show that is the icon um, of a little rook, like a little castle. Yeah, I don't know what that is. And it's in Animal Actors for Orlando. I don't know what that is. Well, the other show in the Fear Factor live stage is Fire. So we know what that is. We know exactly what that is. I'm not <laughs> mad at that at all. And the other one, I heard people talking about Rocky Horror getting a mini show somewhere. And that I remember when Animal Actors literally had a Rocky Horror mini show in, God, it must have been like the late 90s or early 2000s. Um, back when they used to do two shows, they would do one at Fear Factor for Bill and Ted and they would do a smaller show. They did a hypnotist one year. <laughs> they did like all these <laughs> random things. Oh, and no. they had, I could have sworn, Rocky Horror. Or maybe that was at the Beetlejuice Theater. I'm not sure. Oh, could it be Beetlejuice? <laughs> Was a castle? I don't know. I, I, I'm reaching. I'm reaching. I don't know what the new Beetlejuice has in it. Oh, that's true. There actually is a movie coming out. I forgot about that. Mm. It's rumored The weekend is uh, doing music for a scare zone. I'm okay with that. I think they were trying to do something with The weekend last year. I think they did in Singapore, but didn't for Hollywood or Orlando last year. And then maybe they are this year. <sighs> Anyway, Ghostbusters, some kind of universal monsters land. House. House. There we go. Maze. Maze. Um, case files. Case files. Sweet revenge. Quiet place. Did I say that? Mm-hmm, Texas. You just did. Texas. <laughs> 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 yeah, Texas is a five pointed star, though. None of those are five pointed. Um, how come Lagoon Show is not marked on here? I don't know. Uh, we're getting a new Lagoon Show by like June this this year. So there should be a new Halloween Lagoon Show, I would hope. Yeah, I would think so, too. Um, I'm baffled by things on here. I'm still I'm still of the mind that Five Nights at Freddy's is possible for both uh, coasts. And um, oh, you know, we should mention that they are building new sprung tents, Mm -hmm. new boxier, fancier sprung tents over by MIB, um, not to replace the existing sprung tents, but to double the sprung tent count from two to four so that they can use the parade building for the parade. <laughs> oh, wow. What a novel idea. How dare they use the building built well, for parade for parade? More importantly, how dare you make me walk more? I don't know if it's really more. It depends on where the entrances are. I guess if it's yeah. on the other side of MIB, maybe. But like the parade building wasn't, it was like equal distance from both entrances. So it was a pain in the butt to get to anyway. Mm-hmm. I don't know, it's a lateral move at best to me. <laughs> at best. But, I just want to know what this Rook show is. And I want to know what this moon and stars thing is. I'm not sold on Nightmare. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not sold on Nightmare on Elm Street. I don't think it's Nightmare on Elm Street. I wouldn't be mad, but I'm not sold on it. I, I like also it's a spec map and then half the stuff could be made up. So. Mm hmm. Wait, what's the bull? Leave a comment down below and tell us what the bull <laughs> is. All right. Um, any any final thoughts on Halloween Horror Nights this year? Are we doing a private tour this year? Yeah, we're going to have enough people. We might have too many people. We might have too many people. I think you can have up to 12. Yeah, I think we're going to have too many people. Oh, more than 12? Well, if Nene comes out. Okay. We need cause... to get all on the same page and pick a date because the second it goes on sale. Yeah, we should do that. And we got to make sure it's within the time. Have you heard that we're going to have to make reservations for our free ticket starting next year. That's weak. Yeah, you can't just like walk in and be like, hey, here's my annual pass. Give me a ticket. They already limit the dates you can use it. That's Well, weak. instead of limiting the dates, they're just going to make you pick your dates ahead of time, which oh. is fine. Like if we do RIP, we know what day we're going. Of course, we always know when we're going. Yeah. So it doesn't affect us. 
unless it's not available, in which case, how dare they? Exactly. Now let's I'm check scared. on my uh, tweet on the scary coaster train and see what people say. You still have. Oh, oh, paperclip agrees. We need to make merch of her. <laughs> <laughs> 98 likes in what, 10 minutes? How can we low key give kids nightmare fuel? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I do love it. I love it so much. I love I love the clash of the like pea green yellow and the the purple. I love its honeycomb dead eyes. <laughs> and it's I love the way smile. that it, it's coming toward me in like a haunting way. And it's, it's got like a smile. millipede legs. Oh, I love everything about it. Troller coaster, my beating heart. Oh. Troller coaster is just another word for theme park Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, if you'd like to hear more random discussion about random things, including the Ghostbusters, check out our recent episode on patreon.com slash theme park stop, where we talk about the retro rides renaissance happening at Universal Orlando (laughs) right now. Just a dollar. Uh, Yeah, for as little as a dollar a month. Um, but you also you'd be supporting, you, know, you don't, you know, <laughs> don't, <laughs> just don't, you'd also be supporting the channel and the podcast, but we do put up bonus episodes every once in a while. And this was kind of a fun one because, um, it was a loose discussion, but we, we threw in some random rumors and stuff in there. It's pretty fun. And sometimes Nene shows up over there. Yeah. We need to get all of us. We need to coordinate our schedules. Coordinate. We need to coordinate. Maybe. Uh huh. I'm going to try and see if we oh, can no. all get together when they announce the next Epic Universe announcement and do a normal show there. Um, I would, I would, I thought Super Nintendo World on Mario Day was a slam dunk, but it didn't happen. So that seems weird that they didn't take advantage of that. But I still feel like they're going to do an announcement every month, and there is half of this month left as of recording. So maybe we'll be doing another episode soon whenever we get new Epic details. Like epic details or like epic details? Um, both. <laughs> epic, I mean, if it's Super details? Nintendo World, if it's Super... Wait, I have to say it on the podcast so it becomes real. Mm-hmm. I want a Yoshi meet and greet under Peach's castle in the style of Raptor Encounter. So you want Yoshi to pretend to attack us? I, wait, no. I want <laughs> Yoshi to be a puppet. <laughs> Yoshi's, Yoshi's a good boy. Wait, is he a boy? He lays eggs. This is this is never. I come don't up and, know if Yoshi's. A, oh my god, I'm questioning all reality at this point. I don't know what Yoshi's gender is. Bow bow. like sounds like blue. Bow bow. Blue's it a does. girl. I like the older video games. Yoshi, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Yoshi's adorable. Bow bow. That's all that matters. Bow bow. Oh boy. Now, now he's got a cute little voice. None Ugh. of this is in the podcast anymore. We ended minutes ago. Did we? Bye. Patreon.com slash theme park stop. Check it out. Please. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>